Welcome to Unshackling Sudokus and Puzzles. Today I'll be solving a classic Sudoku created by Daniel. And uh, this Sudoku was posted on the CTC Discord server. So I thought of giving this classic a try today. Uh, you can also try this classic by playing it out from the link given in the description of the video. Do give it a shot yourself and then please come back and watch the video. So let us move on to start the Sudoku now. And before that, uh, if you haven't hit the subscribe button, please check out the videos that we have been posting earlier and do subscribe to the channel. So we'll move on to the rules. Rules are normal. Each row, column and 3x3 three three box will have digits from 1 to 9 without any repetition. So with that, we'll start this Sudoku now. Mm, okay. So where do we look at? Okay, there is a 1 in row 2 and row 3, which means that one must go in one of these cells and because of this one we get the one here and that in turn gives the one here using simple uh, scanning you can place these digits and there is a one in column 8 which means that one must be in one of these cells and in rest of the boxes I am seeing lots of places for the ones so let us look for something else maybe there is a five in uh, row 7 row 8 that gives you a five here can we place any more 5s that gives a 5 in box 5, gives a 5 in column 2 and gives a 5 in uh, row 1 column 1 and uh, 5 here. So we can place all the 5s easily. So is there any other digit that we can focus on? Let's look at row 9. Uh, it's almost filled. 2, 5, 9, 4, 6 and 8. So the remaining digits are 1, 3, 7. So these would be 1, 3, 7. And this can't be 1 or 7. So this would have to be a 3. That has to be 1 and 7. That is a 1 and 7. Okay, if you look at box 8. 1, 2, 8, 5 and 9. And you have 4 and 6 in row 8. Which means that we can lock a pair here. So this becomes 4, 6. And that has to be a 3 and a 7. Which you can uh, resolve immediately. So that is a 7. That is a 3. And this would have to be 4 or 6 for the uh, 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 column. And uh, 2, 4, 5 and 6. Okay, so 9 can't be here in row 7. And 9 must be in one of these cells. And it can't be here in row 7, column 7. So this has to be a 9. And that becomes a 3 now. Uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9. That becomes an 8, sorry. Because you have 1, 7 here. So this would have to be 8 which means that is a 1 and 7 and this has to be a 2 for the row and now let's focus on column 8 1, 5, 7, 3, 8 and 9 so the digits must be 2, 4 and 6 right so you can't have a 2 here and this is a 2, 4, 6, 2, 4, 6 okay so far the Sudoku hasn't uh, begun to test us yet 7, 5, 9, 1, 2 and 8. So these would be 3, 4 and 6. And 3 can't be in rows 3 and 4. So 3 goes here and that becomes a 4, 6. And that gives 3 in one of these cells. Oops, let me make a corner pencil mark. 3 goes into one of these cells. And you have 9 in column 2 and 9 in row 1 which gives a 9 in one of these cells. And that gives a 9 here. So let us focus on box 2 and then maybe row 2. Uh, 1, 2, 9, 3, 5, 7. So these would be 4, 6 and 8. I'll remove the corner pencil mark of 1 from here. So uh, 8 must be in one of these cells and you have a triplet. 4, 6, 8 triplet. So these two cells must be 2 and 7. And that can't be a 7. So that is a 2 uh, because of the 7 here. And that becomes a 7. And carrying on, uh, we have 8s in rows 5 and 6. And that becomes an 8 in one of these two cells. And if you look at row 2, 1, 3, 8, 2, 5 and 9. So this becomes 4 or 7 because of the 6. And that has to be 4, 6 and 7. I'll remove the corner pencil mark of 1 from these two cells. Okay, 2, 4, 8, 5 and 9. The remaining digits are 1, 3, 6 and 7. This has to be 1 or a 6. This has to be 1, 3 and 6. And that has to be 6 and 7 for the uh, column, column 7. 
and when you made that you would have noticed this one right 4 6 and 7 triplet so these two cells must be 2 8 now and this can't be uh, 8 so this has to be 2 that has to be 8 and that gives 8 here because 8 was in one of those cells and these two cells must be uh, 3 4 6 6 can't be here uh, because 6 is in row 9 column 3 and 4 must be in one of these cells that removes the 4 from here so that is 6 or 7 ok let us look at row 5 because uh, rows 4, 5 and 6 do not have that many uh, uh, pencil marks to help us continue 1, 5, 9, 7 and 8 so remaining digits are 2, 3, 4 and 6 can't have 3 and 6 here so that's 2 and 4 not 2 and 4 so that's 3 and 6 and that is 2, 3, 4 ok it doesn't seem to be an easy sudoku although at the start it, uh, we are getting the digits fast now slowly it seems to have uh, stagnated I have uh, 2, 4, 6, 5 and 9 so these digits will be 1, 3, 7, 8 7, 8 can't go here so that's 1, 3 that's 3, 7, 8 and this can contain anything 1, 3, 7 and 8 ok so I have a 2 here right so I can uh, remove the 2 from here so that's 4 and 6 1 and 7, 6 and 7 1 and 6 ok so 3 has only one cell in column 7 so that becomes 3 and that gives a 3 uh, corner pencil mark in one of these cells 3 is in one of these two cells and 3 is in all these 3 cells ok nothing there ok let us look at row 4 maybe I have 2, 3, 5, 7, 8 because 8 is in one of these cells so this cell has to be 1, 4, 6 and 9 can't be 6 so this is 1, 4, 9 uh, we haven't focused much on row 6 right 3, 5, 7, 8 uh, remaining digits are 1, 2, 4, 6 and 9 so 1, 2, 4 can't be in uh, column 1 so that's 6 and 9 2 and 9 so this is 1, 4, 6 1, 2, 4 and 9 and ok too many possibilities so I think we have made enough pencil marks here already let us start looking for some tricks here I am seeing a lot of 4, 6 pairs all over the grid guys uh, ok let me make some more pencil marks here because this is restricted 1, 5, 2, 4, 3, 7 so that has to be 6, 8 and 9 this has to be 6, 7, 9 uh, can't contain anything else because 1, 5, 2, 8 and 3 and 4 are eliminated so that's 6, 7 and 9 and this has to be 4 and 9 wow we missed that there are only two possibilities here can't be 1, 2, 5, 8 cannot be 3, 6 and 7 so this has to be 4 and 9 ok that's nice that's nice but I'm not really sure if it's helping look at these cells guys we have uh, an x-wing pattern here so when you are able to uh, restrict the possibility of a digit in two rows and in the same two columns then we call that pattern an x-wing if you look at rows 2 and row 9 7 is going only in columns 2 and column 9 and similarly in row 9 you have 7 only in column 2 and column 9 which means that all these cells in those columns cannot take a 7 because if you have a 7 here the 7 goes here and removes these cells and if you have a 7 here the 7 goes here and it removes the cells in uh, 7 from the cells in yellow which means that I can't have 7 here but this is already ruling out the 7 so the only 7 I can usefully eliminate is uh, this one 5, 6, 9, 2 and 4 so this would be 1, 3 and 8 and I don't think there are any more eliminations of 7 so let us just uh, remove the highlighted cells so we had a 138 here right so it doesn't seem to give us anything
should we start doing some coloring maybe okay i'll just uh, do some simple coloring so uh, so if this is a 4 that's not going to be a 4 for the box and if this is not a 4 this would have to be a 4 so this is not a 4 i'm just using coloring guys so one of these uh, would have to be true either the 4 is here or here and in either case if you just mark the uh, possibilities using different colors we may arrive at something so this would have to be red this would have to be green this is called the simple coloring or the bulb technique so i am looking at four possibilities right and if you look at row one there are three possibilities of four so you can't continue the chain this way however in row three you have only two possibilities so this becomes red and in row five again i have three possibilities for the four so not much help however i am uh, eliminating a single pencil mark guys look at this cell it is seeing both of these different colors which means that this cannot be a four because if this cell is a 4, we know that if either this is 4 or this is 4, one of the, these cells would have to be a 4 because uh, red or green would have to contain a 4. So which means if this is 4, then both those cells are removed as 4 possibilities. So that's not a 4. So let me remove the 4 from here. So this becomes 2 and 3. And which means I can uh, continue making the uh, possibilities. So this becomes red now. and for the box i have lots of possibilities so i can't continue and even for the column i have many possibilities so i can't continue for row 4 if i look at both of these cells also can take a 4 so again i cannot uh, make this notation so it seems to have stopped here if i'm not wrong Yes, I don't think there is anything, any more uh, thing to do with the four colors here. I mean the simple coloring. So let me remove these now. So we got a two, three here. We have a three, four here. We have one, three here. We have four, nine here. Okay. Nothing meaningful. Is there any wiving? So I have one, three here, one, seven here. If I had a three, seven somewhere here, I could potentially get a Y wing or an X Y wing. Uh, do we have something else here? Okay, let us do the same thing with the six guys. So we did the coloring with the fours, right? Now let us try to do the same thing with these six. So uh, this is red because 6 is also having lots of possible options everywhere else. This would be green. That has to be red. Same thing with the 6s. Just that uh, we are looking at the uh, digit 6 now. So that's green. And in row 5, this would be red. And if this is 6, this would be green. And okay, lots of possibilities here. That's beautiful, guys. Now look at these two cells. These two cells become our uh, point of interest. Both of these cells would have to uh, have an influence on row 5 column 1 and this, uh, this cell. Which means that both of these cells cannot be a 6. Because if 6 is in these cells then the red and the green cannot take a 6. Which is not possible as per our uh, logic here. So we can remove the 6 from these green cells. That's beautiful. Uh, let me change that to yellow. Because we have a green already. So this is not a 6. So that's 1 and 4. And that's not 6, 2, 3, 5, 7, 6 and 9. So that becomes 1, 4 and 8. That's beautiful. I hope something we have got here. 1, 4, 8, 1, 4, 1, 3, 8, 6, 7, 3, 4, 6. Okay, not much really. Uh, can I make some more elimination? Okay, let me remove these yellow cells now. So, okay, this would be red. That has to be a green. Mm, this area is uh, not useful really. So I think the chain seems to have stopped here. I mean the coloring thing. You can do the coloring only when you have two possibilities of any digit in a row, column or a box. And I don't think we can continue the coloring here. Because if you look at any area, there are many possibilities of six. 
Okay, actually, uh, in column two, we eliminated the six cells here, right? And six cannot be in these two cells, which means that six must be in one of these two cells, and that eliminates the six from here. So that's seven and nine. That's beautiful. So six, seven, four, six, four, nine, seven, nine. And still, I can't continue coloring because I have two possibilities of six. Or this would be a red. That has to be a green. That has to be a red. That has to be a green. And that eliminates the six from here. Beautiful, because we have two different colors here. Let me check again. So if this is green. That would be red. That would be green. That has to be red because only two possibilities. So that becomes green for the column. And which means you have red and green that row. So this is not a six, guys. So let me remove the six from here. So that becomes eight, nine. Uh, Seven, nine, eight, nine. Okay, still nothing. However, for this column, I can mark the green here, right? Because in column one, there are only two possibilities now, so that becomes green. And I think we have uh, made uh, everything that we could do with the coloring here. Okay, let us remove the coloring now. I don't think there is anything more to look at here. So I'm surprised. I was hoping that this would finish the Sudoku, but that seems to be something else really. Okay, this is nice guys. I could eliminate the one from this cell. So uh, there's a finned X-wing guys. I was just looking for possibilities of one in these rows and it seemed to have stuck. So let me change this color to something else. So now you have a finned X-wing. So uh, imagine for a second that this cell can't take a one. In rows four and row nine, we know that these are the only cells which can take one. And uh, if we didn't have this cell as a one, we could have had an X-wing pattern, right? But uh, even with this fin cell, we can still use the X-wing pattern, but the restriction is only limited to the cell which shares the same unit as the fin cell, right? So this cell can't take a one. So if you have a one here, so for row nine, this becomes one and you will notice that there is no one in uh, row four. So which means that the pink cell can't take a one. So this has to be uh, three, five, six, seven, eight. One is ruled out, so that has to be two, four, nine. Is that helping us now? Uh, in row six, now we get the one in these two cells, and that removes the one from this cell. So that's four and eight now, and still one can be here. Okay, still nothing, guys. This seems to be tough from here. So this was a nice finned X-wing. So whenever you have some other possibility disturbing the X-wing pattern, we can got call that as a fin. And uh, we can try to use something. So I spotted a finned X-wing here and eliminated the one from here. And that's surprising to me. Still, the Sudoku, there seems to be something else complicated, I suppose. Uh, seems to be too many. So I have six in one of these two cells. Okay, we have already did the coloring thing with the six, right? So I don't think we can get some skyscraper or any logic with the six because we already did the coloring and that must have taken care of everything.
So I marked every cell with a pencil mark except this cell. So let me go ahead and mark this one too. 3, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this would be 1, 2, 4 and 9. And can we eliminate anything from there? We have 8 pencil mark here, 3 pencil mark here. Nothing guys. So at this point we need to find something really good. So I have a 7, 9 here, I have an 8, 9 here, 6, 9, 7, 9, 6, 7. Okay, so this is a wiving pattern. I could have eliminated the 6 from this cell using the wiving concept, but uh, you have a 3 here already, so it's not really helping. How much time have I taken guys? 21 minutes, so okay. Okay, uh, just a second, Four. yes, okay, this seems to be a chain guys, I'm going to use it because I'm not seeing anything better here, so this cell cannot take a 4, this cell can't take a 4 and you'll see why this can't take a 4, so suppose let's say you have a 4 here, I'll remove the corner pencil mark of 9 from there, so if this is 4, this cell becomes 6, that becomes 4, that would be an 8, that has to be 9, right, okay, sorry, let me remove the corner pencil mark and that becomes 9, right, 4, become, give 6 here, a 4 here, an 8 here, a 9 here and a 7 here. And now you will very quickly see that in uh, row 3, you don't have any space for the 9, right, or in other words, if you have 4 here and a 7 here, you can't satisfy both of these cells, that's not possible, so 4 can be eliminated from that cell, so this seems to be a chain. A very difficult one to spot. I was just looking along this direction and suddenly I saw this one. So this can't be a 4. So let us use that 4 now. So that's a 9. That's a 7. That is 6. And a 7 gives a 6 here. 4 here. A 6 here. 4 here. 6. 4. 6. 1. This has to be 7. That becomes 1. That becomes 7 and 7 could be removed from this cell ok so you have 4 7 possibilities here so 7 has to go here that becomes 4 that has to be 6 and 4 here gives a 2 here so that is a 3 that is 6 wow this is really finishing the Sudoku guys this 3 gives a 4 here uh, 3 here that gives a 3 in this uh, cell that gives 1 here an 8 here a 4 here that becomes 1 and uh, 1, 4 and this would be 9, this has to be a 4, 1, 5, 7, 8, 3, 4, 6, so this would be 2, 9, so that has to be a 9, that would be 2 and that has to be 8. And with that we have completed this Sudoku by Daniel. We used uh, X-Swing at the very start but I don't think it really helped us, we eliminated the 7 from here and then I think we used some coloring or did we use the Find X-Swing, so we did some coloring I think and eliminated some possibilities of 4 and 6 which also didn't help us then we saw a find x wing which eliminated the 1 from here and finally we saw a chain which helped us complete the sudoku so hope you guys enjoyed watching me solve the sudoku by daniel uh, it was an enjoyable solve for me please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already hope to see you all soon bye bye